This might be the most important uh, formula that you need to know on the ACT math test. So the very first one, these two kind of go together. It's very simple where you have the same base uh, and you multiply or divide, you can turn that into addition of the exponents or subtraction uh, correspondingly. And again, I, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to give examples for each one of these because it's going to take time and I don't want to take too much time on this, but plug in different numbers for A, X, and Y, and B here for all these examples and see how they work because you'll see that they do end up working out. Um, with with the next one here, you'll see that you can uh, basically, when you have an exponent to an exponent, you can just multiply the exponents. When you have, um, these two kind of go together as well. So when you have a, two things being multiplied together and raised to an exponent, you can actually split it by just distributing the exponent to each thing. Same thing with division. This is really the same thing as above. And then these last few, these two are very simple. Plug in numbers for A, you'll see that that's true. This is extremely important. This, if I was to give you one that was the most important, it would be this, and maybe these two as well. But the point here is you can convert a negative exponent to a positive exponent by just flipping the term. So uh, 3 over 5 to the negative 1 is the same thing as 5 over 3 to the 1. Okay, that's the same thing, actually. Um, or you can do 1 over 3 to the 5th is equal to 3 to the negative 5. Okay, same idea. Um, and then this is also something else that you can remember. I would recommend you check this on your calculator as well so you don't, so you make sure you haven't messed it up. All right.